Yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. All praises, all praises. So we're heading to the Wingate, and uh, today's workout, we're doing a variety of different stuff. Here right now, we're going to do a little bit of stretching, and then we're going to be doing a little bit of technique. We're going to be doing that again with the uh, uh, 50 pounds. Okay, that's today's 50 pounds. We're going to do with the 50 pounds. So we're going to do a little bit of leg stretching, stretching our legs and getting ourselves all together. And then we're going to do a little bit of technique. And we're doing all of that with the 50 pounds. All right, guys? So again, I like to always do the stretch right here. It's a very good stretch because it works in between the leg grind area. And it's an excellent. So you just do it like this, back and forth. It's really just like this back and forth. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is how you bring it. Back and forth. We just stretch it out. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch that. Six, seven. You want to have a movement in between the grind area. Eight, nine, back and forth. 10. You want to go to the other side and do the same thing on the other side because you want to work both sides. So we have this leg up here, now we have this leg. Alright? Now we're here. One. Something back and forth, you stretch it. Two. You want to stretch it. Two. You want to stretch it. Four. You want to stretch it. Five. You want to stretch it. Six. You want to stretch it? Seven. You want to stretch it? Eight. You want to stretch it? Nine. You want to stretch it? Ten. That's excellent. That's right here in between the grind, in between the, the leg and the grind area. Stretch that. that that's excellent. Now, today, this is a little higher. I thought this was higher, but it's good. You want to go again? And you just want to have the heel here. All right? So, and then what you want to do, you want to lean forward. As you're leaning forward, you're stretching the hamstrings. All right? So you want to stay just like this. So you want to like this leg like this way, and this leg going straighter. And what you want to do, you want to lean over straight. And keep, don't let the knee rise. Keep it straight and go. You can go one shot. Do the pumps. Do the pumps. One, two, three. You gonna feel it all in the hamstring pulling, just like this. One, just like that. And today I'm just stretching. Now you stretch it from here. You pull it right here. You pull it here. You pull it all here. Okay, that's a perfect stretch. That's a stretch. We said we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing stretching. Okay. Same thing with the other side. Last time I showed you something different. This, you might say it's the same, it's not. The last time I showed you how to go down. Last time I did this, I showed you how to do this. To go down with the leg. Yeah. Yeah. I showed you that the last time. This time we ain't doing that. This time we just wanna, like this. We, 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 we wanna pull, we wanna stretch your hamstrings. Try to stretch it. You're sticking up, you're sticking up the, the toes. Up, join them up. Backwards, because you want to stretch, and as you're stretching, you want to raise the, these toes, curl them back, and you stretch down, so you feel it all here, in the hamstrings, okay, the ligaments, here, at the back here, in your knee, knee ligament, and your hamstring, all that, you feel that, I can go like this, you're stretching that, that's what you want. I got the best is deep enough to put the head. But that's a good stretch because I can feel it. I can feel the stretch from all the way from my calf going up to my uh, hamstrings going up. I can feel it all to my glutes. So it's a good stretch. Now, what we want to do is, we want to learn, I want to show you all something. Boss martial arts. Which is karate, which is the old ones. Not talking about the new upgrade ones they got now, because all of the, these new ones they got came out from the source. And 
the, the sauce that I know is judo, karate, okay? It's the mother to bring them. So it's always my horse stance where I talk about, and I see people trying to do the horse stand, but the horse stand, they're different horse stand. If according to how much you are trying to build and what you're trying to build. If you're trying to build a leg, or the, if you're trying to build a dock, then there's a oh, it's very windy. Then there is a different workout. Well, what is that? If you're trying to, if you're trying to, if you're trying to build a, if you try, it's a leg, and if you're trying to, like I say, with the horse stand, they're different from a horse stance. They all the horse stands, but some of them work different parts of your leg. So there's a horse stand where you could stand up, you could stand up, but you like this. You must sink down and like this, right? There's a horse stand where you, your leg not curling like this, and you like this, okay? And there's a horse stand where you like this, and like this, and like this. So, like I said, there are different horse stands, but they all should be tr triggering to work a different part of your leg, tie, leg, whatever, but there's a different part of it. Different stands work different parts of your leg. So we know the horse stand and all that. And we're gonna move to regular uh, techniques, like katas, regular katas. So there's simple breathing techniques that you could do. And one of them is also uh, falling into your horse stand, okay, uh, one shoe. So this is where you are like this, you got one hand at your hip, and you got the other hand pushing out. So with the hand pushing out, you could be in this here, horse stand here, where you work it like with breathing. In here, all right, it's all in the wrist, all right? So it's, so you would have to take it from here. It's a punch, then it's a this, then it's this, you bring it in, flip it back out, cut it back in. All right, you can take it in, block, bring it, push. There are different styles. I remember one time when I was, I had a Japanese sensei, and this is our different styles was from here to here. So it started from here in your horse stance, and then you would actually have to block from your horse stand right here, here. So that would be an outside block. So you would be like this in your horse stand, and like I said, there are different horse stands, but you would be like this, and your block would have to come out instantly from here. Real. This will be, have to be your block right here. Now, the, a lot of people say these are old fashioned, so they come out with, as time go by, people invent new things, come with new styles of fighting. But like I said, you can't go nowhere without the old, you can't get the new. So now, this technique here, this technique here, where I punch, so it's a punch, huh? and from, from the punch, from the punch, or it could be this, punch, this, that, then that turns into this, that comes back in, that could move from here, right? See? 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 So, all that could move. Same thing with his hand. Punch, chin, shake, straight, come in, go back, flip it. Oh, uh, there are different styles where you punch, where you punch, punch, elbow, punch, punch, elbow, block, punch again, punch, elbow, block, punch again. Different styles of technique. Elbows are very important. They use elbows for a lot of different things. 
or self-defense.